Article 14, shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in a three-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Police Association officers, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing levels. 2016, $72,616, 39 weeks over the 2015 level. 2017, $110,583, 52 weeks over 2016 level. 2018, $114,445, 52 weeks over the 2017 level. 2019, $26,353, 13 weeks over the 2018 level. And further to raise and appropriate the sum of $72,616 to fund the cost items related to the police association, officers, salaries and benefits for 2016. Such sum represents the additional salaries and benefits over the 2015 budget level for the 2016 portion of the three years that are contained in a collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Police Association officers pursuant to NHRSA 273A. The compounded cumulative cost impact over the three contract years is estimated to be $660,273. A majority vote is required. This is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 12-2. The fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $72,616 is 2.6 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 14? Moved by Mr. Bean, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, would you like to speak to Article 14? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Again, I'm Jamie Sullivan, town, Assistant Town Manager. Um, I was one of the members of the negotiating team that the board appointed to negotiate these contracts. Uh, the team of three of us sat down, and again, it was approximately six months that we sat with uh, the police units, both uh, the patrolmen and what will subsequently follow the sergeant's contract. And from the beginning, the board's direction to the negotiating team was to deal with the issue of the um, Cadillac tax, which is a looming uh, tax that we were concerned with or are concerned with that can cause substantial um, costs to the taxpayers in the future. That was the prime focus of our negotiating. Um, during that period of time, uh, we negotiated a number of items within the contract. We were absolutely able to address with the uh, patrolmen's and the sergeant's units, which will follow. Uh, dealing with language that will protect the taxpayers from any impact of the Cadillac tax if it's uh, imposed, which again the board saw as a significant risk to the taxpayer in the future going forward. Um, as a part of that negotiation, there were several uh, numerous language changes within the contract. Uh, the money item issues that are there was that there was an increase in the opt-out provisions. Currently, there's a provision that allows for a payment to an officer should they opt out of taking the full uh, medical coverage that's offered by the town. And there's a stipend that they receive based on which plan they take. Um, those stipends were increased slightly. Um, in addition, there were some uh, adjustments to uh, uniform allowance for detectives um, and an increase in a, uh, a percentage increase to become a detective. Um, the overall is a negotiated three-year contract calls for a 3% raise in each of those three years and is represented by the numbers you see on the board. Uh, the board would strongly recommend that you uh, support this contract and be happy to answer any questions, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 14? Yes, sir. Claire Marco, 8 Ward Lane here in Hampton. I was uh, born and raised in Hampton. Now I have the honor of being a police officer in this town. I've been with the department for about two and a half years now. And uh, I can say that this agreement that's come through the negotiating committee and the board of selectmen is a very reasonable one. What we're trying to do is maintain our competitiveness with other departments and recruiting the most desirable candidates to uh, help serve you and the rest of your community and keep everybody safe. We, uh, as the former chief mentioned, we made concessions with our health care as we did in 2014. We also are doing what's called comp time. So if we worked an overtime shift, instead of getting paid at a time and a half rate, we'd essentially get what's vacation time, more or less. So that would also save the taxpayers money. <clears throat> as far as uh, the rest of it go, I know we work tirelessly every day to just provide the best service we can, do it at the most professional level we could. So hopefully you guys support that as well as the rest of the collective bargaining agreements on the ballot. Thanks for your time. And if you have any questions, myself and other members of the HBA will be uh, Stand around. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marco. Yes, sir. Uh, Tim Hillman, Six Morningside Drive. Uh, I'm an employee of the police department. I've been working for the department for 19 years now. Uh, I'm basically going to reiterate a lot of things that uh, Clay brought up. This is uh, the second um, 
contract proposal, uh, third year in a row, that we would make concessions for our health care in order to save the taxpayers money uh, and to save the town money. Um, we work very hard, 24 hours a day, to keep the town safe. Um, and I think the numbers that we brought forward that have been agreed upon between um, the union and the selectmen are very fair. We want to remain competitive. We want to be able to bring people into our department uh, to continue to provide the great services that we already do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Uh, Chief Sawyer. Again, I would ask the, uh, the voters support on these contracts. Uh, when I first came to the Hampton Police Department, I came from another agency, and the first lesson I learned was the standard in the Hampton Police Department is excellence, not adequate. We're in a very competitive world today recruiting police, fire, public works. The people that are willing to do these jobs take the risks. And it's not always about money. It's about being valued. But in order to get these po people to come in, and again, I think Clay hit it, is bring the best of the best to the town of Hampton, that is getting increasingly difficult as we become part of the middle of the pack or the lower portion of the middle of the pack when it comes to these competitive issues of wages. As we speak, the city of Manchester is hiring 19 officers. I've lost four officers to Manchester PD in the last 18 months, part-time officers. But keep in mind the collective bargaining agreement we're talking about also encompasses our part-time employees. We try to cultivate these folks to be outstanding police officers, and I think anybody would tell you in the state of New Hampshire, nobody trains their part-time officers better than Hampton PD. I'd like to retain a few of them so that when we do have our vacancies, we have that pool of qualified people that step right in and they're up and operating day one. Nobody else has that advantage in the state of New Hampshire. And the only way for us to maintain that is to support them and maintain that level of excellence. And I believe this contract, a three-year contract, will assure that for the next three years. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Sawyer. Mr. Page. Hi, Nathan Page, 200 Breakside Road and I'm not a police employee. My interaction with the police is usually with a set of blue lights behind me. Um, but the, uh, our police department, we have a, a great crew of the police and all of our town, all of our town employees do a great job for us. You know, we need to reward them with a contract. We, we haven't passed contracts for quite some time. We need to give them a contract so they can get what they deserve and we can stop training people for other departments. We bring people in, we get them trained, they take off to Manchester, as Chief Sawyer once just said. We need to help these uh, ladies and gentlemen that work for us maintain a good quality of life so they can afford to live in Hampton as well. And so please vote for these contracts and help, help our employees. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Page. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian Lapham, 27 I Street. Um, the Chief and some others stole my thunder. But uh, I just wanted to say that we ask an awful lot of these officers. And we need to keep the officers here. If we don't start to spend a little money above and beyond, we're going to be talking about new training. We're going to be talking about this and that. Oh, it's $100,000, $200,000. Um, so I would just ask everyone to please support these bills. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lapham. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 14? Seeing none, Article 14 will appear on the ballot as printed.